Hey everybody out there, and I apologize right now guys, I'm a little bit nasally right now. The cold seems to be clustering up my sinuses, so I sound a little nasally. But yes, we're back outside again today, in this beautiful snowy weather. Yes, it's beautiful and snowy. I apologize, the sun is going down currently. So today guys, we're going to talk about why you should play test a lot. Especially when you're first getting a hold of a deck that you don't know a lot about. It is a rule of thumb. I know people probably stress it a lot that yes, you should play test. Yes, you should test your deck out multiple times to understand what all the situations are. But I don't think some people understand, you know, hearing it and doing it are two different things in life. Uh, I could hear about something and it goes through one ear and out the other. But doing it means it goes in one ear and I do it automatically because I know that's the right thing to do. And I apologize for the cars driving by, we're outside, so. Airplanes, cars, birds, whatever. Yes, so that's what I'm talking about here today, guys. Why it's very important to do play testing and do it right. Now, you don't always have to play test in life, in real life. Thank you, Drago Sack. I hear you. Okay, yes, I know dragon rulers are dead, but I know I still hate you. Drago Sack. Uh, but yes. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> I have fun out here. But yes, guys, it's very important to play test in real life. I know people don't keep saying that all the time, but it's very important. You need to learn a deck. You need to learn how it functions, all the situations that arise. If you're playing it in main meta, you really need to know, you know, okay, all the different situations that are going to arise. So say I'm playing uh, let's see, Ritual Beast. I'm playing Ritual Beast. I need, that deck is very combo oriented, so you need to do a lot of play testing so you know all the different combos, how to do, the, do certain things out of certain situations to get out of, you know, the most advantage of cards and get out, the, you know, get the situation properly, especially if you're going against meta decks, because if you're playing a lower tier deck, you cannot misplay as much as those high tier decks. It's, I know people say, well, it's because it's less skill, you know, it's because those decks take less skill, whatever. You need to know, you need to stop your misplaying, misplays. Because if you play test enough, you'll cut down your misplays, you'll become a better player overall, and things like that. You'll know how to use your resources more wisely using those decks. Plus, you'll learn the combo plays to get out of certain situations. The list goes on and on and on of why it is so important to play testing. But I, I think people don't try it enough. And if you're trying new cards out in a deck, you know, uh, you say, well, you know, should I try, you know, Mist Valley out in Yasenju? Uh, you know, I think it's a good card in that deck. Well, you need to play test enough times. You just can't go five duels. You have to go 10, 20. I know it sounds ridiculous, but you need to keep trying in real life or in a computer, you know, playing online to say to yourself, I've played this enough times to know that this works. And even sometimes I'll do something uh, which is a little unorthodox, but it works for me as well. I'll think of imagine, imaginary situations, and I'll just play test against myself. Now, this may sound very stupid, but it works for me. So say I'll just say, okay, my opponent has this amazing freaking lock on me. He has vanity's emptiness up on me. I have this, this, and this, you know, on me right now. I mean, it's going to be a hard time to get. It doesn't matter what deck he's playing. He's just got the lock on me. And I'm playing against a random, you know, I'm playing my deck. So I'll draw five cards. I'll look at my opening hand and I'll say, okay, yep, this would be good against this type of situation if it's the worst case scenario or nope. And I'll keep doing that multiple times, maybe 20, 30 times. So I can get a good read on what my opening draws are going to be like so I can get out of certain situations. You know, a good situation, a bad situation, and a medium situation. Just play testing drawing can do that if you think of the worst case scenario. Just a little bit of thing to think about. So playtesting is very important. Uh, I think playtesting in real life will give more to you, but I understand a lot of people play online nowadays, and I understand that completely. But I feel that playtesting in real life can give gives you something that playtesting online can't. It gives you that little mind game, that little, you know, looking at what your opponent's doing, shuffling his cards like this. You know, it, 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 your opponent drops these little hints in real life that online you can't read as well. Granted, there are some things that online, if you play like on Dev Pro, for example, it'll say, you know, if you see your opponent says waiting, you're waiting for your opponent to do something, it could be because they have a chainable card on the field to do. So you can say to yourself, oh, he's got something. So 
playing on life and playing you know, on, in online are a little bit of two different things, I think you could say. But I feel that at the end of the at the end of the golden rainbow, you need to do play testing to learn how your deck functions, to learn all the different situations you are going against, to cut down your misplays, to be more efficient like a well-oiled machine. When you get to the point where you can play that deck in your in you know in your sleep, you feel like you know that deck so well, you could play it in your sleep. That is when you, I think, have reached sort of a uh, maybe nirvana of playtesting with that deck. You pretty much know that deck thoroughly well, and you've become a master of it, like you have master of Pokemon. But I think still in that situation, you still need a playtest because new cards always come out. So I hope this video was very helpful to you guys. And until next time, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. Remember to always play test. And until next time, guys, Seto Kaiba, I'm out for you guys.